The largest creature known to ever inhabit our planet is alive, today. The blue whale, they're massive, about three bus lengths long with a heart the size of a car and the body weight of 2,670 average size men. That's 30 T-Rexes for our prehistorically inclined viewers. And as it turns out, the heaviest animals currently living on Earth are all whales. Their massive size beats out land animals at every turn by a huge margin. Even the slightly smaller humpback whale is still four times the size of the largest terrestrial animal, the African elephant. Giant whales are just so cool, and they're truly wonders of the world. So of course we had to check them out for ourselves, because that's, that's what, what we, we do, do here. So climb aboard, matey, as we get into a ridiculously tiny boat to go look for some incredibly huge whales in the sea and learn more about what makes these creatures so special. Did we see any gentle giants close up? Maybe. Maybe not. Guess you'll have to watch till the end to find out. Hmm? Our adventure begins in Husavik, a charming coastal town nestled along the shores of the Skarandi Bay, just 30 miles south of the Arctic Circle. This place is renowned for its incredible whale watching opportunities. During the season, some of the largest animals on this planet can be found in the waters of this bay, including humpback and blue whales. And those are exactly the whales we're looking for! We hop on a rigid inflatable boat, or RIP for short which allows us to venture faster and deeper into the ocean. It's the perfect vessel to search for these magnificent creatures. And it's also super fun to ride on, but only if you don't get seasick because you are gonna bounce around, folks. Bouncing montage, commence. It wasn't long before we saw our first whale, a humpback. These giants boast massive pectoral fins. They can reach up to 16 feet. They get their common name from the dark hump that's on their backs, although they also have varying amounts of white markings and other unique physical features that help scientists identify individual whales, kind of like fingerprints. I think it's cool. First time seeing a whale. They sing enchanting songs that can travel amazingly long distances. Maybe thousands of miles. Imagine that. That's a long distance. It's pretty long to sing. And these whales like to show off. So they're a favorite for whale watchers. Their acrobatics can include slapping the water with their flukes and fins, rising nose or tail first up into the air, swimming really fast, and of course, breaching, making a huge splash into the ocean. Except, here in their summer feeding grounds, you're much less likely to see one of those fantastic breaches because even just a few seconds of this behavior requires a lot of calories from this creature. As many as even 500 each, short effort. Wish I could burn 500 calories in just a matter of seconds. You'll understand when you're older. Anyway, this means they don't breach without really good reason, like showing off during mating, except these whales aren't here to mate. Nope, they're here to eat and bulk up, not to burn calories. So to see a breach here is a very rare treat. Humpback whales are found in every ocean in the world, except these whales here are tourists like us. They're just visiting these waters off the coast of Iceland. But these whales worked a lot harder to get here. They have one of the longest migrations of any mammal on the planet. It's true, they travel up to 8,000 kilometers annually from summer feeding grounds like these near the poles to warmer tropical waters such as the Caribbean Sea to mate and give birth to calves. And this means that when they travel, they bring their babies along with them. So if you're lucky, you may get to see mothers and calves swimming close and often touching flippers in what seems to be a gesture of affection. Just like the pair we were lucky enough to see on our adventure. Not us, like actual whales. Yeah, I mean, we're cute too, but whales mm. are cuter. True. Mm. We've got one more whale sighting surprise for you. But first, where are those blue whales anyway? They're so big we should be able to see them. There she blows! Oh wait, that's just a rock. 
with a weight up to 200 tons, you'd think they'd be hard to miss if they were swimming nearby. Amazingly, they reach these fantastic sizes almost exclusively on a diet of krill. The tiny shrimp-like creatures, they filter through their baleen just like the humpback. Is that filtering? Yeah. Okay. Blue whales consume nearly four tons of these little animals a day. That's a lot of little tiny crustaceans. And just like the humpback, blue whales are also just visitors here, passing through on a journey to their feeding grounds farther north in the Arctic. The waters around Iceland just don't provide them enough food to stay longer. So you really need to be here at just the right time in June to see these, which we weren't on our trip. But that's okay, because the last whale sighting on our trip was so amazing, it totally made up for missing the big blue whale. And since blue whales have a lifespan of 80 to 90 years, we hope to see you on, on another adventure. We may need more than luck to keep spotting whales here on a return visit. Blue whales were driven to the brink of extinction by aggressive hunting in the 1900s. That ended in 1996 when they came under the protection with the International Whaling Commission. While at their size, they have few predators. Many are still injured and die from ship impacts or encounters with loose fishing gear. Unfortunately, the blue whale has remained endangered worldwide since their protection in the mid-1960s. They just haven't seen the amazing recovery that the humpback has, for example. Once endangered, humpback whales have bounced back in response to a remarkably successful global effort at conservation. Now, while the humpback does still face ongoing threats and is still considered in danger in parts of its range, those worldwide efforts of protection meant that we got to see and experience this. There you go! Wow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Nice ending! Amazing. Oh! Oh my goodness. There you go! Oh, oh, oh. Have love, Jesus. You're, you're showing off. Whoa. I heard it. just after our really amazing guide told us that visitors rarely get to see a breach in these summer feeding grounds, we got to see a beautiful humpback propel itself out of the water again and again. It was honestly one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Why did we have the chance to see this rare treat? Well, scientists are still trying to understand whale breaching behavior, but they think that in addition to showing off the mates, whales also breach to help remove pests from their skin. And that's probably what our friend was likely doing here. Or maybe he just wanted to say hi to some fellow mammals because after all, whales are more closely related to us than they are to other sea creatures like sharks. In fact, whales used to walk on land, limbs and all, before returning to the sea eons ago. It's a truly evolutionary, revolutionary whale tale. <laughs> 